What's up, y'all? It's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent, and tonight I'm going to be bringing you guys my review of the product Coach Platinum by Coach. Um, if you're new here, just know that I do a lot of reviews, top lists, unboxings, and if that's not like something that you might enjoy, go ahead and hit subscribe. But all you guys, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, let's get, look, look at the bottle. You see here, it's a nice platinum looking bottle. Go around, it, it, it is see-through, you might, guys not, might not be able to see that. Um, but it comes with this nice little necklace here. It says coach on the side of it. Uh, a nice little atomizer. I will waste a spray for y'all. It's not the best atomizer in my opinion. Um, but something that is kind of cool about it is that the atomizer locks. It's one, this is the first, Product that I've seen do this outside of coach is the first one that I've seen do it um, but it uh, it it's it's real nice um, what I get in the opening is I, I get a pretty big ambroxion opening um, even though the, the ambroxion is not listed in, in it um, I, I do get that I do get what, what people will compare it uh, to like the Dior Sauvage with pineapple um, but in my opinion, it's, it's not an Adventist pineapple that's mixed with it. It's definitely more, it, and it's not quite as sweet as like a Demeter pineapple. It's more of a, just a really synthetic pineapple, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, and um, the, so that fades pretty quickly into the wearing. Um, it goes from, from a pineapple you savage more to like a darker vanilla with like a leather accord in it. Um, and there are some spicy notes, like there's some black pepper notes and black pepper is listed in, in the notes, um, but for me, I, I get that pretty strongly. Uh, after that initial savage feel to it with the with the with the synthetic pineapple, once that once that wears off, it gets okay. Um, so first off, for scent for this, it gets a three out of five, um, just because it's not. I was a little disappointed with it, but it definitely still has has its benefits in the scent profile, in my opinion. But yeah, it's definitely three out of five on the scent. All right, so next we're gonna we're gonna go over the projection. The projection is what really did it in for me, and uh, just because the projection for me was within like the one and a half to two hours range, and then it's the skin scent. Um, I have it on now, and it's still and I, and I put it on maybe 15 minutes ago, and it's still it's still coming off my skin. But I mean, I I think it like right here before I smell it. So I mean, that's not that's not very it doesn't project off my skin personally very well at all, um, and. So for projection, I, I really give this a 2.5, uh, just because it's 2.5 out of 5, just because um, it was a little disappointing for me, because I kind of expected for it to not be the best performer, but at least get a little more than, than two hours out of it, honestly. But yeah, next we'll go uh, we'll go over the the uh, just the um, the notes, and then the price. So the top notes are gonna be black pepper and pineapple. Um, with those two open notes, I really get more of an ambroxan and a, a, a like a synthetic pineapple less than a black pepper. I more or less get the black pepper in the dry down than I do really in the uh, in the opening. Um, like I said, the, the pineapple fades really fast, um, and then in comes the the heart notes. It's going to be the, your sage, geranium, and juniper berry, which are still kind of all the sage is kind of there, which might be kind of what is blending with the black pepper to kind of give me that that savagey kind of note. Um, along with the with the juniper berry, um, and then in the base you have your sandalwood, your leather, vanilla, um, cashmere, and patchouli. Um, those three are definitely 100% in the uh, in the, the base, um, and that's what it's going to be. That that to me that's what the that's what the fragrance is. Is is less of a pineapple -y fragrance. It's more of a peppery sandalwood, vanilla, leather fragrance. Now the leather is very. It, it, it is a smooth, creamy vanilla but it's not what I expected from the fragrance. Um, and it's something, I mean, it's it's gonna be a good, um, this this will get some wear from me from, from this winter, um, just because the dry down, in my opinion, is much more of a wintry fragrance than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be like a summery, freshy kind of fragrance, and I don't know if it's just the bottle design that fooled me, or the, the, the pineapple, something like this having the pineapple note in the beginning. Um, but yeah, it's it's the sandalwood leather and vanilla is done pretty well. Um, there is a slight musk that's there, um, which might be coming from the uh, patchouli or the leather. Um, but I, I honestly get like a musk also in the base. Um, but 
yeah, um, ne next guys, we're gonna go over the price. All right, so price point in this fragrance um, is, uh, I saw it on Macy's and it was running for about 95 bucks um, for the 3.3 ounce. I saw it on FragranceNet. I don't know if it was just a fluke in the way that it was put in there, but the 3.3 ounce was $40 when I looked, looked on there. Um, I don't know if that's just while, while supplies last or what, but when I was making these notes, it was $40 for 3.3 ounce unboxed on FragranceNet. Um, now 95 bucks is a bit steep for this, I believe I saw the, there's like three listings on FragranceNet. One was like 70 bucks, so you're still saving some money on there, but it's still a bit steep. And I'm not sure, this is, so this, this is the two, two ounce. Um, this, this is the one that uh, at Macy's you get for $75. And even then is a bit steep, but don't pay, do not pay retail for this. Whatever you do guys, do not pay, pay retail for it. Um, if, if you're out in the stores, you can test it. Don't pay retail, go to FragranceNet, go to Fragrance X. there's retailers, there's places to go. Right now you can find this out at places like TJ, TJ Maxx. You can find the little gift sets. Those are a bit overpriced too, kinda. Like you can get this set with this right here and a, like a body wash for like 60 bucks. And if you get lucky, you might find a three ounce one, uh, the, the, the 3.3 ounce one like that. And it might earn 60 to 70 bucks. I would value this, this right here at probably, uh, max like 40 45 bucks i wouldn't pay over 45 bucks for this um but it is a nice scent and if you're looking for something that you can put on and it doesn't last all day and something that like a, like a refresher kind of fragrance this might be a good one this might be a little bit a little bit strong for that but and a little expensive for that but this is this is okay um overall like i said this gets a 2.8 out of 5 from me um and any, any less than that, I probably wouldn't be wearing it. I probably, I probably would sell this bottle outright, but I feel like it's gonna get some wear for me. This one is still going to Shane. As you, Shane, you can see here, I've still not unboxed it. Um, and be, and before we're done here, I'm gonna show you guys the box. I know it doesn't really matter, but some people like to see the box. Um, so here's the front. You have the platinum and the uh, EDP down the bottom with the fluid ounces over here. So, the sides are black. Black is, uh, the back is platinum as well. On the, here you have this, I guess where it's made, or in Paris. Down here you have the ingredients along with the batch code over here, and the top is black. Now, inside guys, you're gonna hear that, that noise, that's gonna be the necklace right here. It, it's not tied down or anything when you get it, so it's gonna be making that noise. So it's not broken or anything when, when you guys are messing around with your box. But yeah guys, that's that. Um, uh, the perfumer was a guy named Bruno. He defines it as a fresh oriental perfume. Um, he's made things like Abercrombie Fitch, Coach for Men, the original. He's made four Hugo Boss fragrances. Um, the uh, Boss of Scents, he's made Absolute Intense, Private Accord. Um, he also was the perfumer behind Pure Excess Night. Uh, so I mean, he the guy knows what he's doing. Um, but, and this wasn't necessarily a miss for me. But I wish it was just a little bit better. Um, hopefully one day they'll, they'll reformulate uh, this fragrance for the better. I'm still gonna enjoy it, but anyways guys, I hope that gives you some insight if you're um, pl planning on picking this one up. Anyways, next time guys, see ya. And before I forget, guys keep it gent and do not get bent.